The French Laundry restaurant has three Michelin stars and has been voted the best restaurant in the world twice. The iconic Napa Valley experience is something that people travel from all over the world to try. Amy and I have been wanting to go here for years and we finally got the chance to do it in October. Here's what we thought about the French Laundry and be sure to stay to the end where we talk about it in more detail. It all started with a trip from Southern California to the Napa Valley to celebrate our anniversary. I can't believe we get to eat here tonight. Let's go. We got to the restaurant about 30 minutes before our reservation so we could have time to explore the property and just to relax. Upon arriving, we checked in and were shown to the courtyard where they poured us a glass of champagne. It's a great place to wait with a nice ambiance and chairs split apart so you can sit with just your party. Plus, there's a window into the kitchen and you're encouraged to go over and look in. I spent pretty much the entire time just looking in the window and watching the chefs at work. About 10 minutes later, we were ushered into the restaurant and shown to our table. I'll talk a lot more about the hospitality aspect at the end of the video, but basically everyone who came by greeted us with happy anniversary. Plus, they even brought out a bottle of Dom Perignon from the year that we were married and gave us a glass. It's little touches like this that make the experience something that we'll never forget. The meal started with a couple of welcome bites that weren't on the menu, the first of which was an everything bagel cornet, and the second which was their take on a Ritz cracker. During this time, they also came around and got our wine orders and any additional upgrades we wanted to do. Following that, our dining experience officially began with Oysters and Pearls, the restaurant's famous dish. This has been on the menu since the restaurant started and it's something that never leaves. Before I came, I had no idea that anything could taste as good as this did. <laughs> we decided just to have one glass of wine and someone came around and helped us to pair with something that would be good for the entire meal and that was within our budget. Following that, the menu just kept coming, and even though each of the dishes were small, I was incredibly full by the end of the meal. Also, the pacing was absolutely perfect. We had a good bit of time between each of our dishes, but not too much time. I'm so excited. It's literally like one of my absolute favorite things. <laughs> It's perfect. It's like a little crunch on the outside, but so soft on the inside. I want more already. It's funny how something like bread and butter here can be done so much better than you've ever had it before. Another highlight for me was that I asked about whether this specific egg dish I had saw was on the menu for the night. The waiter told me all about it and that it wasn't on the menu, but then 10 minutes later they brought it out for us to try. I was blown away as this is something I would have never expected. Following that, there were two protein dishes which you could do upgrades on if you were interested. Both of us did the quail first, and then on the next course, I did the prime rib of lamb and Amy went with the Wagyu beef. It was a significant upcharge and they don't pressure you into doing this, but it was an incredible piece of meat. You could cut it with a butter knife and it basically melted in your mouth. Following that, there was a cheese dish before we moved into desserts. This was about two and a half hours into the meal, even though it doesn't seem like it in the video. Not to be outdone by the previous courses, the dessert course was its own thing entirely. So in case you're wondering if a French laundry goes a little crazy, this is the uh, dessert course that we have and we each have our own. <laughs> I can do it, I can do it. Wow. Special treat from the chef. For our anniversary. There were so many different flavors and dishes that were provided to us all at once so that you could sample them together or separately and just figure out which was your favorite. Of course, we needed more desserts, so they brought out a hand-painted chocolate which we could pick one of to end the meal. After our three hour dining experience was over, they asked us if we wanted to go in and see the kitchen. Of course, why would you say no to that? And we were able to walk in and see the chefs at work, plus get our own picture taken in the kitchen. Absolutely an incredible experience. I don't Amazing. think I need to eat for like another two weeks now. Gosh, I didn't know I could be so full <laughs> off of tiny little things. <laughs> we're gonna go back to the office and debrief with you about it. 
Hey everyone, so we're back from the French Laundry. It's been about a week since we had that experience and we wanted to get into the office and talk a little bit more about it with you so you could decide if it's something that you want to do as well. When I think about the French Laundry, I think about the book Unreasonable Hospitality, which is incredible. If you're interested in fine dining and things like that, you should definitely read it. But they say restaurants can create magic. And when I think back on our experience, it definitely feels like that. Yeah, it feels so silly to say that it was magical, but it really was. Even from the moment that we walked in there, you expect to be seated and served really great food. But when we walked in, we were kind of just like exploring the courtyard, which was really beautiful. And someone approached us and just asked what our name was. And he came back and said, you're all checked in and handed us a glass of champagne. And it just right away started off already feeling um, like a completely different experience. And then when they moved us to the dining room, we sat down and they presented us with a bottle of Dom Perignon from the year that we got married. I've never had Dom Perignon in my life. I'm like, what is no. this? Like, this is ridiculous. I've cool. heard people talk about it, but <laughs> for them to have planned to have already be from the year we were married, knowing we were as our anniversary and how long we were celebrating, it was just like, where am I right now? Yeah, it was, a, it was an incredibly cool experience. So we're talking more about costs um, later, but obviously like, this is an incredibly expensive dinner. Um, you could have five amazing meals for the price of, of one here. But what the French Laundry kind of meant to us and the reason why it was something important for us to go to is that we had traveled California extensively because I had created a blog on the state and I'd always seen French Laundry, I'd always heard about it. We toured the gardens when we were in Yonville <laughs> and it just was kind of one of these iconic places that I never thought we would go to. We said when our kids were born, we were gonna go, or you know, when I finished my doctorate, we were gonna go, and we all those things passed. <laughs> um, so we finally did it. But that's why cost was worth it to us is that we saved up to have that experience. But I would say the hospitality is definitely something that I yeah. that I think about when I think back on it. You feel like you're you're kind of being. Um, escorted around, escorted through an experience, given like the best of everything. I mean, it was it was just something I'll never forget. All right, to pick it back on that. So, what were your favorite three dishes? Because this was about a nine course tasting menu with different things that they brought in between that were like you know little small bites and things like that. But of the nine courses, what was your favorite? Yeah. So my favorite was the scallops. They were just above and beyond. I have never tasted a scallop that way and the way it was prepared. My second favorite was oysters and pearls, which are oysters and caviar. I've had caviar one other time and I did enjoy it, but this was next level. Yeah, that's the iconic dish at the French yeah. Laundry. So anytime you think about any, like when you think about the dishes that kind of created that restaurant, um, Oysters and Pearls is one of Thomas Keller's signatures. Uh, that was the same for me. That was my, my number one. Maybe can get to her third, but I didn't think it could be that good based on the picture and stuff. It just looks Doesn't like- Doesn't look that exciting. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's beautifully prepared and stuff, but it's like, I didn't know what I was going to eat. But the first time I, I put that in my mouth, it was almost like a religious experience to have there. I wanted to cry. It was so good. Um, so that was, that was definitely my number one. And the scallops was my number two, but what was, what was number three for you? I decided to upgrade um, to the Wagyu steak. So it was a grade A5, which is the best you could ever have. I haven't had steak probably in 10 years, but like, why not? Just go for it. So it was amazing not only the flavor but i didn't even have to chew that piece of meat it was so tender and delicious and all the um stuff they prepared it with so i have to say that that was my number three yeah i didn't do the upgrade amy's uh, much more bougie than me so i uh, i just had the quail and that was really good that was my number three as well but yeah to piggyback on that um let's talk about costs so <laughs> it's incredibly expensive. We're not trying to say this is something that everybody should do. Um, when we decided that we were going to do it, because you have to book months in advance, I mean, we started saving probably six months before we even decided that we were going to try to get a reservation. But for us, I think it was $370 a person, and you pay that when you book it. So immediately when you book it, you've already paid. That includes Jump the tip. Jump fully in. <laughs> yeah, that includes the tip, that includes all of the food unless you choose to purchase wine or unless you choose to do one of the add-ons. There's only two add-ons, but one was 130 and another one was like 220. So you can do those, you don't have to. Wine, um, you can pay $2,500 for a half a glass or half a bottle of wine, or you can spend you know, 30 or 50 bucks. So, I mean, there is approachable ways to have a glass of wine if you want to have one, but overall for two people, you're looking at spending about a thousand dollars to eat here. So it is no small amount of money. That is for sure. Yeah. 
Amy and I have traveled a lot around the Napa Valley though, and there are some other great options if you're wanting to have an experience that's a little bit like this, but at a more affordable price. What would you say for that? First off, you have to go to Bouchon Bakery. You'll be able to get a coffee there. They have croissants and please have a macaroon for me. They're delicious. And then if you're wanting something for actual meal, I would recommend Ad Hoc. It is a delicious restaurant. They do a great job. Also a Thomas Keller restaurant. Yeah, I mean, Ad Hoc is probably the most comparable to French Laundry if you're looking for something that's an experience that's obviously a very small percentage of that, but it's a uh, multiple course meal. It was created by Thomas Keller. You don't even know what you're gonna eat before you go in, which is basically the same thing as with the French Laundry, but it was around 60 to $70 a person when we went. So if you're looking for something that can give you kind of that multi-course experience in Napa that is more affordable, um, definitely check out Ad Hoc. So if this is something that you're interested in booking, then you have to be on the website um, the first of the month for the following month. So on September 1st, we are on there at 10 a.m. booking for October. Basically the entire month is available right at 10 a.m. Obviously check the time as it might change in the future or the date as well. But when we did it, 10 a.m., you go on there, you refresh, you try to pick your date, and I did it within probably a minute, and by the time I had refreshed and gone back, everything was already completely gone. So it's definitely a place that has a huge following that people want to eat at, um, and if it is something that you want to do, your best option is trying to be there right when it opens um, to secure a spot, especially for two people. Um, two people is a lot harder to get because there's fewer smaller tables. So if you have four to six, you might be able to wait a couple more minutes before you book, but definitely not for two people. So I think that's it for our French laundry experience. Let us know if you have any questions about this in the comments. Um, Amy wanted to show you what they gave us for our anniversary when we left because I mean, it was like the perfect icing on the cake. So with that whole experience, they packaged up little shortbread cookies, the menus, which had our names printed on them and happy anniversary. And then they sent us home with a bottle of wine engraved with our anniversary and our name. Like, like how, do you, how do you beat that? That's that's Why? a pretty, pretty cool way to, to, to send you home after yeah. an amazing meal like that. But yeah, just, I mean, let us know if this is something you're interested in seeing more of. There's only 12 three-star Michelin restaurants in the United States. Six of them are in California, so maybe we could eat at some more in the future. Or if you just want us to go back to doing hikes and eating McDonald's, uh, <laughs> let us know that in the comments as well. <laughs> Thanks so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you on the next video.